All right, Michael Phelps versus Patty. Uh, this is the answer to Muskie versus Bigfoot. It's go time. Let's boil it down to one basic question. How long are the arms of Patty? Can it be Bob Harani missing a suit? Um, humans are not have an average one to one ratio. So a six foot tall person, 72 inch arms would have different 28, 28, 16 across the shoulders, and uh, you're able to figure it out. So if we take uh, Patty, as she's walking along, it looks like a human, but it's not really because it's uh, much different proportions. The neck, the shoulders, everything. So look at Michael Phelps. He has he's in the hundredth percentile. He's actually was accused of having Marfan syndrome. Uh, he doesn't, but it, uh, he's a 1.07. Uh, Lithuanian discus thrower Robas Vartis is a 1.13. Uh, he has a 228 centimeter 202 height. Sonny Liston was, you know, claimed to have an 84 inch reach. Uh, may or may not have been true. Boxing isn't known for super accuracy, but there you can see they look fairly long arms. That's about should be about seven feet, but they're well short of the knee. So if we take Michael Phelps at 1.07, is uh, there's a good side view and see where the knee is, and you look at just a few frames of Patty coming through from the Marlon K. Davis enhancement. We can start looking at it and we can see um, the, the right, the left, the shoulder width, and then you can look at it and it's about 1.5. Um, adding up the right, the left, and the shoulder there and you see it, it doesn't even fit on the page. So it is probably three feet longer at least than Michael Phelps, maybe 1.6. So um, if you take Michael Phelps and make him seven foot three or whatever it would be, it, you would see that his arms are way shorter, even the elbow point, everything. If you take a real height, that's probably where he'd be about. Could be an arm extension. Well, it could be, it would have to be like shoulder pads. It would have to be another nine to 10 inches, but the elbow is moving in the middle there. And that's way beyond the human elbow. And you can see the, the swing and the momentum there. All right, the evidence for Sasquatch is 10,000 times greater than the proof it doesn't exist, which is basically, where are the dead ones? Remember, this is not a stupid animal. Everything fits together perfectly for a nocturnal forest hunter with skills that far outweigh ours. Its walk, arm length, foot structure, howls, eyes, night vision, everything works. There's no reason that a Sasquatch it has to be rare. They're just that good, and that's the problem. The problem with Muskie Allen and virtually every other accommodation is that they think they know so much that they're basically God. One thing that is absolutely certain in this world is the folly of men. Constantly thinking that they know everything. A Sasquatch is 10,000 times better than Muskie Allen or you and me in the forest at night. And that's the truth.